Welcome to VBS 2021, God's Armor. I'm so excited you guys are here. I know I have all of you here in person. We have some friends online. Everybody look at the camera. Do you guys see the camera? Okay, so we have some friends online and we're so excited that we can be here today. Are you guys excited? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think we could be more excited. Are you guys excited? Okay, so before we begin, make sure that you know our theme. Our theme is God's armor. Okay, what's our theme? God's armor. Okay, so all the songs we're going to sing have to do with that. And there's one song we're going to sing that talks about like the sword of the spirit and the belt of truth and the, I have to learn the song, you guys. I have to memorize it, okay? So, is your body ready? Yes. Okay. Are your voices ready to sing? Okay. We are going to worship God by singing and by dancing. We're so excited and we're going to worship God today. You guys ready? Okay. Everybody, if you're holding a sign, put your sign down. Stand up. If you have a water bottle, give it to your crew leader. If you're at home and you're sitting down, find a space where you have lots of space. No chairs, no tables, nothing. Because you need room to move. You guys ready? Let's praise God. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Open up the doors. Let everybody in. Ready for an adventure. It's about to begin. We're going somewhere that we've never been before. I can't wait to see what God has in store. So put your cell phones down.
You guys, was that fun? Was it hard? Are you sweating? I'm sweating. <laughs> that was so much fun, you guys. I can't believe, I can't believe we're here at VBS singing and dancing. That was super hard, like it always is at VBS the first day. But, okay, if you are joining us online, right now is the time you're going to do your rotations with your parents. So you'll do BX, which is Bible experience, then you'll do your craft, and then you'll do your games. And then exactly at 7.50, what time? 7.50, log back on because we're going to have a skit. We're going to have a sermon, we're going to hear God's word, and then we're going to end with praise again. Okay? You guys, let's say bye to our online friends. Everybody say bye. You know my past, you hold my future, and your love will last forever and ever. All will fade away. Jesus, you. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. It's night time. Open up the doors. Let everybody in. Ready for an adventure. It's about to begin. We're going somewhere that we've never been before. I can't wait to see what God has in store. So put your cell phones down. I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Caleb. That's right. If you already know, it's Mr. Caleb. Hello, hello. And I wanted to introduce you to a couple of my students. Because I'm a crew leader. I have a couple of students. And let me introduce my first student, Annie. Why don't you come on in? All right, Annie, why don't you give me a, a big high five? Come on. My mommy said not to touch other people's hands because it's not safe to do so. Um, did you wash your hands, Mr. Caleb? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, of course, of course, come on. Uh, don't ever let me catch you with dirty hands ever again or else. Uh. Wow, um, that's a scary kid. Um, that's okay. It's okay. Um, let me introduce my next student. Oh, you guys are gonna like her. Sadie, come on in. Yeah. 
All right, come on, give me a high five. <laughs> what, Mr. Caleb? I thought you said a high five. Why are you so scared? <laughs> I'm, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm a man. I'm an adult. I uh, just didn't want a hard high five. You know, my, my bones, they're soft, you know? Okay, then a soft high five? Yeah, you could, you could do a soft high five. Come on. <laughs> are you like, are you working out or something? Is that what it is? Yeah, I gotta practice for all of the summer sports. Uh, okay, um, no, no worries. Just make sure you're a little softer with the other kids, okay? Okay, I'll be fine. Uh, wow, okay, no worries. Um, uh, let me introduce my last student, come on in. Uh, Cody, I haven't seen him in so long. Last time I saw him, he was, he was this big. I um, mean. Cody, you, you grew. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, uh, never, never mind, that's fine. Um, how about you give me a, a Mr. Caleb size high five, come on. That's okay, that's okay. Um, wow, we have quite the group today. Um, it's okay, this year is still gonna be a great year, right? All right, how about, wait, 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 wait for me, wait for me. We did what? We did body worship. I think we did some crafts. Ah, I'm so hungry. Uh, who's, who's hungry? Come on, give me. Who's hungry? All right, yeah, me too. All right, how about you guys meet me at the snack table and uh, let me grab some stuff for us. All right, here uh, we go. Jeez, I could use a nutritious meal after all that dancing. Did anyone else break a sweat? <laughs> you, you are so bad at dancing. Everybody had to move away from you because you're flailing your arms around everywhere. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. My mommy says that I'm a great dancer. You know, you're just jealous. A five, six, seven, eight. Jealous of what? I'm a much better dancer and singer than you. Five, six, seven, eight. Smooth like butter, gonna bend that rubber. Pop like trouble, getting into your heart like that. Break it down. Can you guys just be quiet? You guys are so loud, always. No, you're just too quiet, Corey. Speak up. My name is Cody. Ooh, say sorry for that, Annie. Yeah, say sorry, Sadie. What? I'm on your side. Well, earlier, while you were listening to the sermon, you were laughing so hard, like, <laughs> and you were throwing your arms everywhere, and I think you hurt my shoulder or something. See, maybe if you weren't such a boy. I am not a boy. 
Well, you sure act like one. Well, I can dance better than any of you. And everybody knows my name when I say it. Um, excuse me, what did you say? So, you guys want to start a fight or something? <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on here? Well, we're, we're all friends. We're, we're not, not friends. friends! Okay, sorry, sorry, did someone want to explain what exactly is going on? Well, well Shady's really bad at dancing. She shouldn't say that because I practice all the time. And then, Cody calls me a boy. Don't blame me. Annie's the one who started all of this. Well, that's because she said I'm a bad dancer. Well, my mommy told me not to lie, too, so what am I supposed to do? Well, you don't have to lie. Okay, you can whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we're all friends here. We're, we're not, not friends. friends. Okay, sorry, a uh, team? We're, we're not, not a team. team. Okay, you guys get what I mean. Okay, how about we just sit down, let's take a seat here, and let's figure this out, all right? Let's take a seat, guys. Man. Now, I get we're not the best of friends, but you don't have to be mean to each other. Well, my mommy said not to talk to mean people anyways. So, you're not supposed to talk to yourself? Okay, oh, whoa, 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 uh, okay, 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 uh, all right, let's, let's be a little nicer here, come on. Well, if you guys are gonna make fun of me, at least know my name. You guys were making fun of Corey? Not you too, Mr. Caleb. My name is Cody. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Oh, Maury. Maury. Yeah. I got it. My name is Cody. <laughs> wow. Twice in a row. Huh? All right, all right. Jody. Jody. <laughs> so unique. My name is Cody! C-O-D-Y, Cody! What's so hard about that? Your name it was, was Cody? Cody? I've been trying to tell you guys this the whole time. Cody, I know you're a little quiet most of the time, and I'm really loud, so I should be more patient with you next time. I'm sorry about that. No. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said mean things about you, and that was wrong of me. And I'm sorry, Sadie. I shouldn't have called you a boy. That was mean of me, I guess. <sighs> I guess it's okay. Well, I'm sorry, Annie, for saying you're bad at dancing. Just be careful when you do, because, you know, you almost hit me last time. Okay, I'll be more careful of that. <sighs> now look, is this so much better? What do you mean, Mr. Caleb? Well, what I mean is little things like this can be caused by spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare? Yeah, um, let me explain it like this. So when Satan tries to attack us, he wants us to fight each other when we should be working together to fight Satan. So what does us fighting each other have to do with us fighting Satan? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, all right. You can't really work together if you're busy fighting each other, right? Well, uh, you know, I don't think even I'm strong enough to fight Satan. Well, that's why you need to put on God's armor to fight the good fight. God's armor? Sadie, 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 Sadie. It's not God's armor, it's God's armor. It's armor, not armor. Uh, all right. Oh man, those kids, those kids. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do? Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Now, how'd you guys like the skit? You guys, you guys like it? You guys, how'd you guys feel? Pretty good, pretty good? All right, all right. Now, just really fast, 
What did you guys feel about today's games? What did you guys feel? Pretty good? Pretty good? All right, all right, all right. Uh, another thing, what was it? You guys did a uh, skit. Oh, no, that was me. That was us. No, no, no. Crafts, that's right. Well, who, who liked the crafts? Let's hear it. Come on, who, who, who liked crafts? Come on. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, last thing, mm, body worship. Yeah, I think we did some body worship too. How do you guys feel? What do you, who liked body worship? Come on. Ah, all right, all right, all right. I know body worship is, is really hard, right? And doing all kinds of stuff, it's hard. But I want to do a couple of motions with you guys. So can we have, how about everyone stand up really fast? Even everyone at home, let's stand up, all right? And in one of them, it's really fast, but it's really important that we get the words for this one, all right? It's going to be, all right, all right? Wiggle it out, wiggle it out. You guys have been sitting for a long time, even everyone at home. Everyone's wig wiggle it out. All right, all right, here we go. Here's the lines. Here are the lines. The sword of truth. Yes, yes. Everyone say it together. The sword of truth. Yes. The shield of right. Oh, yes. The shield of righteousness. All right. And we're going to do those two. All right. And then we'll do more and more as we go, all right? Now let's take a seat. Everyone take a seat. Oh, sword of the spirit. Yeah, sorry. My, my. Sorry. It is the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. All right? That's very important. That's very important. The sword of the spirit. Man, sword of the spirit, all right? Now, before we go on to the next thing, we're going to invite our speaker, Okay? But here's what I want to do. I'm going to go through a verse with you guys. You guys okay with that? Yeah. All right, Mr. Caleb's going to lead you guys in a verse. You guys okay with that? Yeah. All right, all right. Now, can we put on the verse for everyone to see? And we'll read it together, all right? It's long. It's, it's long. Ooh, look at all those words. Ooh, it's long. But we'll read it together, okay? We'll read it together nice and slow, all right? Listen to me, Mr. Caleb, and read it together. All right, here we go. Five, all right. One, two, three. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. Woo! Oh, man. Give yourselves a round of applause. Even those at home, give yourselves a round of applause. That was, that was long. I'm sweating because that was so long. All right? Now, oh, can we have the verse one more time? All right. I want to read the last sentence, okay? It's going to be after places. This one's very important. All right? We're going to refer to this quite often. So, here we go. From therefore, can we do it one more time? Can we do it one more time, please? Yeah, just one more, just one more time, please. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Nice. That is perfect. Now, that's a verse I want you guys to keep in mind before we have our speaker come in, okay? Now, really quick, I want to I wanna fix what I did last time, okay? I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. It's the sword of what? The spirit. Very nice. The sword of the? All right. So when we do body worship, what is this? The? All right. Good job. I want you guys to keep that in mind, and we'll keep that up in worship as well. And I'm going to invite... Miss Juhi on stage. Give you guys a round of applause. All right, boys and girls, let's do a quick prayer to open our hearts. 
All right, that's something we do in Living Hope Little Kids. So if you're five and under, you know how to do this. But what we do right now is perfect for any age. So before we get into the Word of God, I always show, all right, I say this is the Bible. And whose words are in the Bible? God's Word. Can we say that together? The Bible is God's Word. And because the Bible's God's Word, all right, little ones, help me. We know that everything in the Bible is true. All right, even if you're fifth grade, help me out and follow me, all right? Let's open our hearts before we get into the Word of God, all right? We do this. I'll show it to you first. I open my eyes, I open my ears, I open my heart. Shh, time to hear God's Word. I want us to quieten our souls and be ready to hear God's word, okay? Ready, let's do it. I open my eyes, I open my ears, I open my heart, shh, it's time to hear God's word. Let, uh, let me pray and I'll start it. Father Lord, we thank you and we give this time to you. May your truth be told and proclaimed in this space. Holy Spirit, may you open the hearts of every soul in this place to be respective of your word and the gospel. May there be transformation tonight by the power of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, amen. All right, boys and girls, you are so good at saying Ephesians 6. But there's a word right there where I need to address. And the first word in the whole Memory verse starts with the word, starts with F, th, th, th. Finally. finally. Now when you see this word finally, you know that there has been a process. If, if you go on a long road trip and then your parents go, we're here and it's taking you forever to get there, you're gonna go, finally, we're here. That means there's been some pit stops along the way. That means that it's taken a long time. Even at school, even kindergartners, your teachers are gonna teach you. All right, we're gonna do narrative writing. And in con when you do narrative writing, you have to start with first, next, then, after, and then finally, all right? You cannot start your story with, finally I woke up in the morning. The teacher's gonna go, no, 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 no. I need your first, Next, then, after, and then you can do finally. So right now, we're jumping into a passage and it starts with what? Finally. Now, if you look at the book of Ephesians, hold up six fingers. There's six chapters. So we need to know what happens in chapters, oh, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, to get to understand what finally means here in chapter six. So let's go through it really quickly. Everybody say chapter one. The book of Ephesians starts with God saying you are blessed. God has a purpose and a plan for you and he sends Jesus to die on the cross for your sins. You are blessed because your sins are forgiven. You are blessed now that you are now one with Christ because your sins are forgiven. So say chapter one, you are blessed. Talks to you about, and then said chapter two, ready? Chapter two. So chapter one, God says you're blessed. I've set my son to die on the cross for you. In chapter two, he says now you're united. United to God because of what Jesus has done. United to each other because now God has called into a family and united to a calling to do good works. All right, so chapter one, I'm blessed. Chapter two, we're united. And chapter three talks about the gospel. What Jesus has done on the cross, that truth is for everyone. In chapter three it says, this truth of the gospel is for everyone to know. And the way that God has chosen for everyone to hear the gospel, to spread the gospel, and to live the gospel is through the church. So chapter four naturally talks about the church. Oh, what's the church? It gives a metaphor that we are the body of Christ. The head is Jesus and we are His body, connected by the Spirit and growing strong and healthy through love, through loving one another. So let me recap. 
we're blessed, we're united, the gospel is for everyone. What was chapter four again? <sighs> the church. And then chapter five is like, now that the church is the body of Christ, the people who believe in Jesus, right here, we are the church. He says, now go and love. And what does love look like? How Jesus loved us. And he commands us to say, now go and love your family. Go and love the people of God around you. So chapter six, here we are. And we start with what? What word? Finally. Okay, so finally now I can talk about this. It says, finally be strong in the Lord. Everybody say, in the Lord. Ready, go. In the Lord. Okay, okay. So when I think about in the Lord, I need some help. I have uh, Mr. JJ come up. Okay. I have my super sanitary, not so sanitary glove here. Now when I think of in the Lord, this is all I can think of right now. I have a box of gumball machine, double bubble gumballs, okay? I want to see how many of these gum, oh, can I, oh no, gumballs can fit inside Mr. JJ's mouth. Because when I'm thinking in the Lord, hello, yes, can you take it off? I am fully vaccinated. All right. Think of a magical number, look at his mouth. Okay, show the, open it, oh. All right, we're gonna put it in, count with me. One, two gumballs in his mouth. Ooh, pink. Three, four, can you do more? He said, uh-huh. Five, you can raise your hand when you're done, okay? Oh, it's coming out. More? Seven. Oh, wow, your hand's not out. Okay, I'm gonna go faster. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. All right, thank you, Mr. JJ. You can keep the rest. All right, so in the Lord, does that mean, just like how 11 gumballs fit in Mr. JJ's mouth, then it goes inside his body and then he... Then does that mean, in the Lord means I have to somehow eat Jesus so he comes into my body and then... Oh, something's wrong. Okay, okay. What about, in the Lord means... Like you have a song in your head. Did you watch the skit tonight? Oh my gosh, I fell in love with, what's her name? Sadie? Did you hear that song? Smooth like butter. Ba -ba, criminal undercover. I'm just learning this. Gonna pop into trouble getting into your heart like that. Or something like that. Oh my gosh. Now that song is in your head. Why? because I just keep singing it over and over to you. Is that what it means when in the Lord is like a song in my head? If I tell you, okay guys, think of an animal, but not an elephant. You're all thinking about an elephant right now, aren't you? Is that what it is? Like an idea or an image? Well, kind of. When be strong in the Lord means that when you have a friend, you spend time with them, you have memories with them. You know how they talk, especially if they go, hi, if that voice is like, like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm having a play date with you today. You know how they talk, you know how they walk. You know exactly what they're gonna do because you spend so much time with them. You enjoy spending time with them. So in the Lord actually means, Jesus, I'm spending time with you. I'm reading the Bible. These words are not just like, I've done my soap, but they're coming into my head. They're filtering down into my heart. Oh, I am blessed. It says with an eternal purpose and calling upon my life, that is going in your head. Your prayers are not just, 
thank you for the food we had today, and thank you for the la la la, thank you for you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, you're praying. You're, as you are here, God, I'm coming to VBS. Open my heart, speak to me. I need you. Tell me where I need to be with you in my relationship right now. You're praying. And not just that, you're praising his name to him and about him. Everything, you're spending time with him. And the most of all, you're enjoying it. It's not a summer to-do list like your mom. Go and do soap right now. Done it. Pray. I did. Read the Bible. I did. Okay. It, you're spending time and you're enjoying. So we're starting off. Let's recap. Finally. Everybody say finally. finally. It says be strong in the Lord. Say that again. Be strong in the Lord. In the Lord. Here it is. And in the strength of his might. So when you are having time with Jesus, enjoying it, his words are going into your head and in, down into your heart, and you're enjoying that. It says Jesus gives you strength. He's a kicker, guys. So when you do your soap devotionals with Miss Liz, I did today so oh soap devotional. I got an extra muscle. Is that what it's talking about? That Jesus is strengthening me? Somehow in developing that time and relationship with Jesus, the word says, the Bible says, Jesus is giving you strength. And it says to put on the armor of God. I see shields everywhere. What are they? The belt of truth. Put on. What else? What's next? The breastplate of righteousness I put on. God's shoes for the gospel of peace I put on. Shield of faith I put on. Helmet of salvation I put on. And the sword of the spirit I take up. Well, put on and take up. Whatever. I put it on. Okay. So finally be strong in the Lord. And with the strength that Jesus gives me, I put it all on and I look like Iron Man. And now I'm questioning myself. Okay, God, I'm spending time with you. You're in me like the song is in me. Your words are in me. Yeah, this is good. Now you're gearing me up like, oh, I'm, uh, I am man. Who are we fighting? Oh, I know, I know, I know. They're really, really bad Roblox characters, right? That dress really bad on Roblox. Are we fighting them off the screen? No. I know. Are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh, those mean new nades at your school? They go, lunch is over, but you have to sit down for another 23 minutes. Are we fighting them? No. So the word is saying, be strong in the Lord and with the strength Jesus gives, put on the whole armor of God because you're going to be in battle. You're going to fight. But who are we fighting? The next part says what? To stand against the schemes of the devil. Whoa. Let me say that again. So that you fight to stand against the schemes of the devil. All right. Boys and girls, listen up. This means that after that all my armor is on, the devil lies against everything God is, everything God loves, and everything God stands for. So the devil attacks you just like in chapter 1. It says, you're blessed. The devil goes, eh, no, you're not. You need more in your life or you're not that special. In chapter 2, you're united to God and to each other and to your calling. And the devil says, oh, you know, God hasn't called you for anything. Just live for your own. It's not that special what you have to do. Chapter 3, it says the gospel is for everyone. And God chooses to use the church to spread the gospel and to live the gospel. And Satan goes, oh, you know what? Do you really believe in the gospel that salvation is just a gift? You have to work hard for it. Mm -mm. Chapter 4, 
It says the church is the body of Christ where Christ is the head and the rest of us is connected by the Spirit through love. And Satan says, ugh, the church is not important. I'm going to sow drama and discord so the people of God just keep fighting with each other and have no time to glorify God. Chapter 5 talks about love. Love one another in your families and in the church. And guess what? Here's the kicker. Satan says, oh, just love yourself. You don't have time to be sacrificial. Mm-mm. I'll tell you what love is like. It's all about yourself. So that's what you're fighting against. You put on, you put on. You put on, you put on. You take up, you put on. Why? Because of the schemes of the devil. Now you might be thinking, oh, when Jesus died on the cross for my sins, didn't he win the battle, Miss Juhi? Didn't he win Satan? Didn't he win over sin? There is, we're forgiven. Yeah, he did. Then why is God telling me to put on my armor and stand against the devil and his lies? This is why, guys, because we are not in heaven yet. Let me say it again. We're fighting because we are not in heaven yet. And guess what? Satan is a bad loser. He's a sore loser. And he wants to take everyone down with you. No, I'm going to destroy the church and spread rumors and lies and nobody loves you, blah, blah, blah. That's what Satan's trying to do. To say, you need to work hard at getting love. You need to keep getting those A's. Because if you get a B, mm, 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 let's see what happens. You're too fat. You're too short. You're too tall. You're too ugly. You're too blah, 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 blah. And we believe in those lies. So with every eye closed right now, I want every eye closed. I want you to now start to think and ask God right now. This is a time where I want you to respond to the word that has been preached to you tonight. And think, wow. I didn't know it was spiritual warfare to think that those lies that I believed about myself, that what I thought that I was just believing something about myself that was true, but now tonight I learn that they are lies from the devil. That God doesn't love me, that I'm not good enough, that I'm forgiven, that he's trying to break up the church. So right now, every eye closed, nobody's looking at you except for me. This is a time to respond. And I want you to quietly, gently lift your hand up if you want to say, you know what, Mrs. Lee? You know what, Miss Juhi? I think I was believing something that was not from God. I need help. I need prayer. I thought I was this. But I now know it was Satan, not of God. I thought God didn't love me if I did this. But now I know that is not of God. So with every eye closed, if you need that prayer tonight, I want you to raise your hand and go, that's me. This is spiritual warfare. I need to put on, 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 put on the armor of God so that I can stand not with my strength, but with the strength that Jesus gives me. If that is your prayer, I'm going to pray for you right now. Keep them raised. Father, I lift up these souls to you, your children. We proclaim right now that, Jesus, you have conquered all on the cross. But while we are here on earth, we put on the armor of God as you strengthen us to defeat the schemes of the evil ones. So Holy Spirit, right now, to all the children in this place that have raised their hands and the children that are wanting to raise their hands, would you speak truth into their hearts right now? 
Would you, treat, would you speak your word into their hearts right now that they are created by you, loved by you, call into a purpose that is to do good works for your glory, saved by Jesus on the cross. Would you speak those words of truth? May they cast all their cares upon you for you care for them tonight. I lift up every soul in this house we dedicate this time to you and we declare in the name of Jesus to speak truth over their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen.
say that with me put on right and it said finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might put on the whole armor of God okay so I talked to Mr. Caleb where's Mr. Caleb Mr. Caleb okay we had to talk because he said it wrong right can you guys help him okay let's practice the sword of the spirit. He said he got it. Yeah. The sword of the spirit and the shield of, oh, this way first. See, you guys have to teach me. Shield of faith. Okay, so go home tonight and tell your parents that you learned about that. And you guys, this live stream is going to be, re well, it's been recorded, so you guys can watch it tomorrow at home if you want to, okay? And you guys can practice the dance moves, because it was hard. Was it hard? Oh my gosh, some of them are like, no, it was so easy. Okay, so we are done for tonight. Everybody go, aww. Okay, but we have three more days, super excited, but we're going to pray together, okay? Put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your nose. Oh, trick you. Put your <laughs> hands on your nose. Okay, put your hands up to the sky. We're going to clap on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Lock your fingers together. Bring them down. Close your eyes and let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that we don't have to stand strong in our strength because we're not strong. And we are not mighty, but God, you are. And so we thank you so much that we can stand strong in you, that we can put on the full armor of God. And God, that we can be victorious because you are holy and you are good. God, we love you. We thank you. And we can't wait to learn more tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 